how to brainwash yourself to make millions. Blup, 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 blup. Blessings and blessings, everybody. My name is Preston Smiles, and I am your abundance coach. I help people get free and live their most abundant lives now, regardless of their external circumstances. And today I'm coming to you from my garage slash gather space with some of my perfect little fun uh, toys that I like to play with. And um, we're gonna be talking about brainwashing yourself into manifesting and calling in more money, specifically for those of you who think and that you want a million dollars. Now there's a whole nother conversation about that because a million dollars may or may not be the thing you want. There's usually it's not. Usually there's something that people are trying to prove, something they're trying to get to, something they're trying to show their parents or, or their brother or sister who was always smarter. The, the, the actual dollar amount usually isn't the thing, but I'll roll with you on this one because as you can see, I put myself in a position where I have manifested a lot. And a big part of it is just learning how to reprogram the subconscious mind and genuinely brainwash yourself into the, the, the truth of your being. Now, I'll uh, break down and share with you these techniques and how I not just called in money and cars and big houses and all that stuff, but how I called in my wife. But before I do, I want to share something with you. And that is if you're one of those people that are like, hey, I like consuming YouTube videos, um, but I also just want to go deeper. Uh, I'm going to challenge you right now to click the link below prestonsmiles.com forward slash abundance now. That is my abundance reset. It is a course that I do with my wife. It is absolutely amazing. I get that everybody wants everything for free, but I'm challenging you to step into your abundance. Um, I have a code that's gonna be down there below as well that's gonna take off thousands of dollars that makes it even more available, and you get in life what you pay for. And a part of the brainwashing that we're gonna, we're gonna do and we're gonna talk about is you've been brainwashed, many of us, self-included for very long, into always looking for the cheapest, most free thing that you can get so that you can sort of come up on society. And honestly, that's the wrong way to look at it. It's underneath me trying to get discounts on everything, underneath me trying to come up and just piecemeal my career and life together from free stuff is an idea that I can't, nor won't, nor or are worthy of actually paying full price. There are forces on this planet that, that don't mean well. They don't actually want you to win. They want you to stay how you've been. So you can be a worker, and being a worker is not wrong, but we, being a worker from lack, limitation, and scarcity, that's, that doesn't feel good. I believe that abundance is our birthright, that all of us, there's enough food, money, supplies to take care of everybody, and yet there is a huge disparity between the 1% and the rest of the world. And for a long time, I believed, like many of you, that I wasn't worthy of success, that I wasn't worthy of real, true love, and that I needed to work for that love, that I needed to prove somehow that I was worthy of it. And what I began to do, just like if I, if, if I, if I say this and you know the other side of it, then you've also been brainwashed. Watch this. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Right? If your brain went, I'm loving it, because you've, you've heard, right? Just, just do it, right? You've heard these slogans over and over and over again, and they've reached into your subconscious mind. Now the question is, is what else have you heard? What else have you been programmed with? What other ideas no longer serve you? You see, for a very long time, I was just trying to get by. I was trying to survive. I was trying to make sure I didn't look stupid or fully fall on my face. And, and, and that survival consciousness was exactly what I was manifesting. You wanna know how to brainwash yourself into making millions? Choose a goal that scares you, but make sure the goal is connected to something that is beyond your ego mind, shoes, clothes, car, all that stuff, and make it connected to something bigger than yourself. So an example would be my mom and dad 
both grew up extremely poor. My sister took care of me as a child because my mom and dad were working all the time. I was basically at some level raised by my sister and even then I was outside running the streets doing my own thing and for me the why, the goal to serving humanity, to helping people understand that, that abundance is here now. A big part of that is so that I could take care of my mom, take care of my sister, take care of my dad. I'll, I'll never forget, and I was still, you know, I was only making probably $300,000 at this point, but I'll never forget when I, I called my dad and I said, hey, I know you haven't had a car for almost 10 years. I'm coming to Vegas and I'm buying you one today. And just that moment, it was a beat up, Solaris. We'll put a picture here in this video of it with my dad smiling. He's, he's now uh, passed away. But it was such a beautiful moment to come pick him up. I rented a car and we drove around. And I, I had him pick out a car within the budget I had at that moment. And that was so big and so beautiful and so fulfilling for me that all the other bull crap that would come along the way that would have me stop because it's going to be hard. Guys. There are hard, you, you don't just get to a million without doing stuff that's outside of your comfort zone. You have to push until, uh, and, and, until the vision pulls. You have to push your way through until your vision pulls you. And so it's going to be hard at times. And, and when it's hard, you got to think back to what is the thing? Why does this matter so much to me? Why must I do this? When you can connect to that thing when your why is so big that the how becomes superfluous then you will manifest millions now it could be millions of smiles millions of, of impact millions of dollars the millions part matters and doesn't because once you break through once you taste something right there's a moment for all of us when we feel into something and you can never go back for those of you who've done uh, plant medicines and things of that nature when when you Feel what it feels like to be on MDMA or whatever it is, or, or ayahuasca when it drops, when the mushrooms hit, and you have that moment where you go, oh my God, love is all there is, was and ever will be. And that connects to your circular system and your body and your consciousness, and it all locks in. When that moment happens, you can never go back. And that is exactly what all of us are working towards when it comes to other areas of abundance. So if this message reached your heart in any way. I ask that you go below right here and leave a comment. What's landing for you? What's alive for you? What are you receiving from this message? What's coming through for you in this moment? And then go do the work. Continue to work on what it is that you want and why you want it. And make sure that the why is connected to something beyond just ego, gratification. Blessings and blessings, beautiful souls. My name is Preston Smiles and I truly appreciate each and every one of you. If you are new to this family, new to the vibe, new to the Love's Voice tribe, make sure you click that red subscribe button and share this with somebody else if you think they'll receive value. Appreciate you.